Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Um, well, this is something that's been contributing to the mess on my desk recently. Um, unfinished um, journal of the um, limp binding persuasion. Um, I made this cover oh, a fair while ago and it's just been sitting here. I even chose some papers for the um, the signatures. Uh, I probably need to choose some more but yeah I just had this sitting over there so I thought maybe I would just come along and do some work on it. Pretty sure I've shown you my limp binding before. Um, the purple one. Can't remember her name off the top of my head. She um she was an example of my limp binding. Um, I did all these covers at the same time, and you know how long ago it was that I finished that one. So this has been sitting here for a while. So I'm just going to tidy up the edges and I'll sew on the buttons. Right, there we go. Now this didn't quite, 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 quite reach the top here. I'm not overly concerned about that. Sorry, just whacked the camera. I'm not overly concerned about that, but I can cover that up as I go. If the fancy takes me. Right, um, this is part of the closure. Now, these limp bindings, here's one little pink one. As you can see, the closure is held by the, the buttons here and they are wrapped around these big buttons on the spine. That's what keeps them closed. So I have to put a button here and a button here to help close our limp binding. So, to do that, I will grab my little punchy board that I so often use, and I will grab my buttons and decide probably about there. I did not get my all out. one about the same distance from this end about there how do I don't know at that angle might as well make them both the same thing right okie dokie now I know I grabbed a needle out but what did I do with it there's my cotton my needle has probably been buried under all the stuff there that's right I just use one of these big blunt needles big tapestry needle I used to do tapestry many years ago and uh, yeah have a few needles floating around it's more than enough I like to use the embroidery floss for this simply because it comes in all these brilliant colors that match beautifully with what I'm doing and I have quite a few of them that you know, one I have a lot left over from when I was actually doing tapestry and I also have a lot that I've picked up since in thrift shops so um, yeah I don't buy it anymore but I do have plenty anyway Let's see if we can find one of these holes Always the tricky bit. You'd think it would be easy, but no. Now this piece of um, card, and um, it's just a big piece of like um, lever arch folder, probably. Can't even remember now. Um, that's just been covered in faux leather. 
that has been well glued to this so it is um, not going to go anywhere but now it will also be sewn onto this so I mean I'm just looking for that hole found it Now I like to sew these on quite securely because they are the the way that the um, the whole journal will be closed. So there will be probably by the time I've stuffed it full of stuff, there will probably be a bit of pressure on it. So I'd like it to be as sturdy as possible. This is not the easiest of jobs sewing these buttons on. Well actually not that because the way I'm pulling at it I'm going to end up pulling it all the way through. Being as how hard it is to find the holes that will annoy me greatly. <laughs> as I suppose you can imagine. Right. Okay. Now, let me grab the um, <laughs> the signatures that I had prepared. See, I normally put three signatures in here, and I do have three signatures prepared here. So they're just a bit flat right at the moment because I've got nothing stuffed in them. So let's see where all this comes to. Okay. That will actually be pretty good. That's not going to be too long. I'm just going to call it at that as far as the cover's concerned. So I just need to put the buttons on this one. So that over here somewhere. There's one button. Here's another button. 
I didn't have any more big yellow or orange buttons, so these were the biggest ones I could find. But I don't mind my little buttons here. Are also odd. They only have a certain amount of these big buttons. So, what I think I will do is place them about here. Might as well just use the same cotton. Okie dokie, there we have that. Now we just have to work out how we're going to make our closure. What I'm going to use as far as um, thread between here and here, the string, any beads that I want on there. Um, yeah, and I definitely need to bulk out my signatures some. Hey guys, okay, I collected um, some beads and some twine here um, I'm having to do a voiceover because I forgot to put my microphone back on at this point um, because I've been wandering around my room searching for things so <laughs> yeah these are the beads I found um, didn't have anything orange but these are sort of gold which I thought suited quite nicely um, this twine's quite a bit thicker than what I was planning on using but I just like the colour match and it's not too thick for the purpose. Um, I did have some challenges getting the beads strung on it but um, yeah I cut all those bits out because you don't need to see me sitting here fighting trying to get some string through the middle of a bead. <laughs> um, basically what I'm doing is tying the string to this button here um, I won't do that until after it's beaded, but, and then it goes around the large button and then pulled back to the smaller button and wrapped around and that's the closure. That's, that's how it's secured. So, um, aside from cutting out the, uh, fun bit of me fighting to get uh, this piece of fat string through a skinny bead um, 
pretty much everything else is in there so um, it's not like you'll uh, you'll miss out on anything um, but yeah I only do this one on camera the other one I will do later and um, yeah when we come back to bind the journal you'll see me um, we'll see that completed so um, yeah this is where the first bead will hang just tie it around this button and it needs one knot it's a very thick string that's going to be a very sturdy knot and then these buttons are quite tight at the moment they will loosen off as time goes so I'm not concerned about that but yes getting that string under there is quite challenging right at the moment um, by the time I finish the journal that will have sort of loosened up a little so they wrap around the large button and then back around the small one um, and have another bead on the end this was obviously a bit tight so I sort of pulled it back and just sort of judged how wide I think the journal will get once I've um, stuffed it full of all the things that it will have so and then my string will wind around that button a couple of times and the bead that I am about to pop on the end will um, will give it that little bit of weight so that it hangs nicely. So there we go. That's the closure. Um, there's another one of those at the top obviously but I will complete that off camera. So. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for coming along. It has been a pleasure having somebody here to keep me company, as per usual. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will look forward to seeing you again next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>